now that you have the walls filled in and the basic flooring down, you can start looking at adding some details to furniture, accessories, and things like that. And there's, once again, going to be different ways to do this, but using these fill and adjustment layers uh, will be very, very useful and will make the process of changing your mind and you know making edits later much, much simpler. So, you know, what we can do is set up something like I have here on the right, where we do basic selections on our outline and then create fill layers for our sofa, chairs, tables, uh, you know, deck chairs here, for example, individual plants. And uh, we can also get in and do things like the bedspread, for example, down at the bottom of the screen here with a pattern even the little pillows. Because, for example, if I decided I wanted to change the color of the sofa, this makes it really easy. I don't have to go in and specifically select it. I could simply come in, double click on that little icon, pick a different color, different shade, whatever it might be, and very, very simply make that edit. I'll just cancel that for now. So the process for that, again, is going to be the same as we did for the walls, same as we did for the floors, but it's a slightly different application. So remember, to do any basic selecting, you need to make your floor plan outline layer active. In this particular file, I've just made a copy of it. I have one on the top and one on the bottom, just so it's easier for me to find. Remember, it's just that black outline. There's no background to it. To make a copy of a layer, all I have to do is right click on it and then say I want to make a duplicate of that layer. It will give you the option to keep the name the same or change it and it will add the word copy and then one, two, three, or four after that. So if I just hit OK for now so you can see, there it is, it made a copy for me. Then I could click and drag that around and put it anywhere that I wanted to. I'm actually just going to delete that for now, I don't need an extra one, but I wanted to show you. Okay, so I will click on that floor plan outline layer, and maybe I want to come in and do something with this bed, for example. As you see down in the other bedroom, I have a pattern on the bedspread and some colored pillows. Zoom in on that a little. I'll use my magic wand, and I'll select the area of the bed that I would want to put a pattern in. So I'll select that. Then I'll come down to the bottom of my Layers menu, and I will select a new pattern. And then here I can pick from a variety of patterns that i found. Maybe I think this one looks good. I can change the scale if I want to. Say OK. Then in my Layers menu, where it says Pattern Fill 1, I'm going to change that to something that makes more sense. This is a good time to bring up layer naming. As you can see at this point, it's starting to get more complicated. So I think it's really worth going in and being fairly picky about how you name your layers. Down here, I have something for the sofa, the chair, the tables, and they have these little letters in front. I think it can be useful to do something like L for living room. So I have L, I know the locations in the living room, dash sofa. L, I know it's in the living room, dash chair. I did A, where if there's multiple pieces of furniture that's in all or many of the rooms, I might say A for all. The deck, D for the deck chairs, A, there's plants in multiple rooms, and so on. B2 for bedroom 2, B1 for bedroom 1. So this is bedroom 1. I will do B1 dash bedspread or something like that. I can also move that layer down, and maybe I'd like to put that above bedroom two. I'll once again highlight floor plan outline, use my magic wand tool, and this time I'll pick the pillows. I'll come down to the bottom to my black and white cookie, click on it, and pick perhaps solid color this time. I'll do a solid color adjustment layer. Then I will pick whatever color I think is appropriate. I could use my eyedropper at this point to actually select a color off of my bedspread if I wanted to, so they match perfectly. Or I could just do it by eye out of the picker. 
completely up to you. If I don't like that color, I can always double click on it in the layers menu and come in and choose again. Maybe I'll do a tint of a color that's in the bedspread. Okay. I will change that layer name to B1 dash bed pillows and I'll move that down so it's right next to or right on top of the B1 bedspread layer because that's going to make sense. So we can move our way around our floor plan and make all of these fill layers either using solid colors or patterns to get in our different materials, whether it be the bedspread, on our countertops, or flooring, wherever it might be.